Whoa, well, it's about time. I have it right here. Command and Conquer, the first decade. Released in 2006 for, by Electronic Arts, this was a repackaging of the original games, including the newer ones later created by EA before EA would kill the series when they decided to do product for service with Red Alert. Not Red Alert, but more Tiberium War 4. But the original thing here comes with Command and Conquer, the first egg cake, and its expansion packs, such as Covert Operations, Red Alert, Red Alert 2, The Aftermath, Command and Conquer, Red Alert, Counter-Strike, Command and Conquer, Tiberian Sun, where we meet Kane, Command and Conquer, Firestorm, Command and Conquer, Renegade, Gate, which is kind of rare because this was actually an FPS game. Yeah, that's right, this was an actual FPS game. It is not pre doesn't predate Call of Duty or uh, <clears throat> Medal of Honor, but it is an FPS game set in the Command and Conquer universe. Why didn't they do any more of these? Who knows? Maybe the game wasn't as successful as their whole would have hoped. We also have Red Alert Two, Red Alert Yuri's Revenge, Command and Conquer Generals, and its expansion General Zero Hour. What's interesting though is that. Command and Conquer was actually made by Westwood Studios and not Electronic Arts. This would start with their original... You see this in their original games, such as the Tiberium War, because in these games, they were actually based off of the rare and obscure Dune series based by Frank Herbert. That's right. Westwood was tasked with making RTS games based on the Dune franchise. We would have Dune 1 and Dune 2, and they would basically be what you'd see... In Command and Conquer, only said the Dune people, team that developed it, Dune, basically had the game set up to where it was all, all the factions from Frank Herbert's novels, not the factions like the Soviets or the Brotherhood of Not or any other group that you see in Command and Conquer. Now, first decade can be run on most modern PCs. I don't know if there's any workarounds or not. I'm replaying this on an older Dell modern, Dell XP computer now. Bear in mind, you can still run this on Windows 7, probably run it on Windows 8, 9, or 10, or whatever they call Windows nowadays, Windows 11 or something. But I don't think there's really too much to worry about. There may be some box emulation or something I might have to do. I don't think there's not that much. You can also buy Command & Conquer for the some of the games on here for the PlayStation. And if you come in and conquer games for PlayStation, and I think even the Int- Nintendo 64 actually had Command and Conquer, but the Command and Conquer game they had, was, I believe, was Tiberian Sun, which you could play. Other than that, this is not much I can say about this game. It came on one game DVD with a bunch of extras, including a special behind the scenes of. How the game was made. But again, thank you all for watching. And this was Command and Conquer the first decade. I lead out their commander and defeat your enemies. Well,